So you're from Philippines? Yes, I'm from the Philippines. You know what I love from Filipinos? Um, um, the, the cassava bread. Have a cake, yeah. Cake, oh yeah. my god, I've never had it. I was, oh my god, mm. it's so good. Mm. Oh, you know what? Did you have a lot of friends from the Philippines? I worked in the hospital where there was a lot of Filipinos, it's very concentrated. In, uh, okay, going to the show, um, all the actors on the show are such amazing performers. You guys have the best writers crafting these career making scenes for you. Uh, what have you learned about acting and yourself throughout the filming of the show? Hmm. You go first. As an okay. extremely experienced Aussie actress and mm -hmm. uh, a brand new cast, yes, a brand <laughs> new superstar. But yet yeah, experience in my own way. Um, you know, I, I've learned confidence. I've, uh, I've gained more confidence and believing in more that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, very young, I, I fell in love with this, and this is what I wanted to do in my life. And just recently, I, I was asking myself, why do I deserve this? I'm so fortunate. There's so many people that are just even excited to get an audition, and here I am doing what I love to do, and I think that for the most part, it's just allowed me to really fall in love with it more and dedicate more time to it. It's just the confidence that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. Um, it's been an incredible experience, Pro probably mostly uh, the, the learning has come from working with with so many incredible people yeah. um, with you know varying disciplines b behind them and mm -hmm. um, coming with you know skills in comedy and and skills that I just you know I, I want to bring out in myself yes. and I want to yes. to grow and, and once you get over those those negative voices holding you back or the fear yeah. to be in an environment that's like full of trust and uh, everyone kind of encouraging each yeah. other you can take risks um, so to, to be have to have that opportunity to do that on kind of a grand scale yeah. is it it does not come lightly <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard this a million times that you were amazing in the accent that you do the very first time uh, I heard you speak as your true self. I was in disbelief. I was like, She's not really Aussie. She's really from Brooklyn because oh, you do it that's so, so well. Nice. Thank you. And um, I'm one, glad. Thing, <laughs> one thing that I n noticed as well is um, you get a lot of the pretty dramatic scenes. You do a lot of crying. What, what is your go-to <laughs> method in bringing all those tears out? Uh, I don't really. I'm not a person that's thinking of. Uh, I don't draw on my own life. I, yeah. I, it's not healthy for me. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's character driven. It's situational, um, and I try and work from the script directly. So it's not. I don't have like a little secret push button mm -hmm. under my brow <laughs> where I'm like, oh, bring on the tears. Um, and you know, sometimes they're not there, and and sometimes they are. And I it, the tears don't the tears don't make a scene. The tears don't make sense. No actor loves the moment when they're reading the script and it's like, she bursts into tears. You're like, oh, Because I'm good. an ugly crier. Yeah. I'm an ugly crier. Like, Dasha's an ugly crier. And I really don't tear up like that. Yeah. So it's like I'm never, I'm always dehydrated. Like, they, they want tears. I'm like, put paper up. A yeah. lot of water this day. All the tricks in the book, but really, you know, that's, that's right. You shouldn't push yourself like if it comes then it comes well, so I think you know in terms of like emotionality in terms yeah. of acting um, there's nothing that that clamps a scene down and tightens a scene and uh, force it, it forces it into a small space when you're working for one single emotion when you're mm -hmm. like my goal is to cry mm -hmm. uh, like or the I, action of to yeah, display of yeah that, 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 that outside so I'm kind of like hoping that a scene can expand and be many many things right, okay we'll do the quick questions then the fun quick stuff okay okay whose backstory is your favorite on Orange is the New Black oh that's really hard that's a really hard question as quickly as possible ah, ah. off the top ah. of your head a big boo okay Dasha ah. you can't say yours Lorna's okay I agree <laughs> I love yours okay if you were to get locked up for something in real life what would it be um speeding on the highway on the autobahn <laughs> not get locked up. I just did that two weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> Public nudity, maybe. <laughs> if uh, you were sentenced to death, what would you be wearing in your death seat, or who would you be wearing? Honey, <laughs> I would be wearing the flyest labels ever. Some Fendi. I don't know if you get to choose. I don't know if you get to choose your. I'll just go naked. Yeah. I don't want them to cover me. I want them to just. Leah said the same thing. Yeah. 
Okay. Naked yeah. in heels. Who is your girl crush at the moment? Well, actually, Dashu is officially my girl crush right now. We kind of fell in love. Woman. Yeah. yeah, we kind of fell <laughs> yeah. in love. Yeah. How, how, how about yours, Sasha? Huh? Who's your girl crush at the moment? Girl crush? You, you don't have to. It's okay. <laughs> there's too many of them. Yeah, I'm a player, honey. Yeah. I love them all. She won't choose just one. Okay. Okay. She breaks I have a problem with that. Right. Last one. Okay. <laughs> what is the best thing about being in prison on Orange is the New Black? The bra. <laughs> the panties. The granny panties. <laughs> yeah. Love them. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Nope.